Hi, Efren. It's me and Deborah Lana here from the Polka Dot Octopus Collective, and Roy Green couldn't be here because he's unwell. Unfortunately, he's home because he was dying to be here, but he couldn't make it. That's too bad. And we're here uh, at Odeon Alley. I'm looking at the mic. I said, hey, are you the camera? Wait, no, there's the camera. <laughs> so we're here in Odeon Alley, and it's the Ministry of Casual Living window, and this is our sketchbook harvest. Why don't you read what uh, Roy wrote? Okay, so, and we'll read. I think we should just read nothing but Roy Green I stuff. Think, I think so. Because he's not here and we should show pictures of him yeah, and yeah. talk about him non-stop. Yeah. Because that'll make him feel better. <laughs> it says, okay, so here we go. <clears throat> the Polka Dot Octopussy Collective are cultural watchdogs of the Pacific Rim, chasing the parked cars of conformity and defecating on the fire hydrants of neoconservativism. Conservativism. Ism. Conservativism. <laughs> the PDOK are... You're better at poetry. The PDOK are murky cephalopods transgressing the murky realms of trampoline laser beam notebooks. The PDOK are elusive like ele electric eels and just as tasty with our thorax abdomens anointed with balsamic fig olive oil fig butter secretions that make even a toothless vampire drool drool. The PDOK are peg-legged avatars of backyard hijinks as the flowery gravy boats are festooned with tantric aromas of Cointreau flavored bong water. Thank you. That was Roy Green. Thank you, Roy. Thank you, Roy Green. That was our manifesto. So there we go. You should come. It's going to be up mm, for two weeks. If you are downtown, it's Odeon Alley. It's right here. We have on the far side here on, on the left, this is worked by Deborah Lana. She's the mistress of the ballpoint pen, you can see, and a sculptress. And then in the middle we have uh, these uh, Ode to the Girl with the Pearl and My Husband combined are by me, PJ Kelly. And then over here we have by Roy Green. These are pages from his mysterious and wonderful book, which is a meditation tool and amazing. And so these are pages. And the pages remind us that everything will be okay and we hope that Roy will be okay also and he's also made some other statements here and it's all really great so come if you're downtown. Deborah, do you have a poem or anything? Yeah, I could read something. Um, I forgot the one that I was going to read but let's see. This is another sketchbook. This is all created over the course of the summer that um, we started doing things that we didn't expect we were going to be doing. Um, at the best of Spanish diatribes, slink softly, maybe in Tomorrowland. Vacuum my heartstrings and the willow cops nestled close to the sandpipers, kingfishers, when the pale green convertible in the dust clay, a motive of dreams, must be gotten naysayers plead for tequila sunrise. Sing Gusto Gustafa, marveloso, in a rusty nail alto. We have, we're showing um, an outpouring of work that we did in the summer that when we first started, initiated the group. Um, there are um, different ways of approaching new media that we've we've um, done and then redone and we redid <laughs> and we we went into directions we'd never thought possible because we were working together had a lot of fun a lot of laughter and uh, we decided to approach the ministry for this exhibition because it seemed like an important thing to do to show the process of how we came to be where we are right now. Uh, so um, one thing that both Roy and I did was to make sculpture in different ways. Um, and PJ did too. She did the octopus there sitting on the duck, um, or the goose, the polka dot goose. 
And that's an uh, octopus in wireframe, she, something she's never done before. And Roy um, has made statements about cultural e entities uh, as uh, um, the objet trouvé that he's doctored. And then he's painted his Buddha, which is on the lantern. And of course, his book is a sculpture in itself, as well as the drawings being that are the um, the content of the of the book, which is an ongoing process. Um, we uh, my my drawings here are predominantly ink pen pen on paper with some color added. And one of the directions I took. Um, is to make this sculpture, which is the shape of the drawing from second from the bottom, with the colors from the bottom, and uh, just adding to it. So it's an undulation of forms uh, into three dimensions. Um, <clears throat> P.J. Kelly's work is very sculptural in its application. Uh, the layering of her drawing on top of, of painting, so that's a new way of her dealing with, with yeah, space yeah, and time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Roy Green's lays overlays uh, both the iconography and shapes that he finds, and and his hand drawn drawings uh, translate to yeah, what he yeah, did yeah, as sure, sculptural yeah. practice. So. Um, we're all doing things that we would never have thought of doing otherwise, and we all seem to influence each other. And, and I think the key is not to be judgmental about what you're doing and just to go for it and have fun and not really worry about the outcome or what everybody else thinks and just play. And that's what the Octopussy Collective is about, so it's not being serious. But it's the serious. The play is very serious. We work intensely. We work weekly. We work um, with intention. But the intention is not to intend anything. <laughs> so it, that's that's how we came about this.